Hi best buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to make a slot pocket flip out. But first let's have our shout out to Spoily Girl, Carolyn, Lala Gamma, M, Sue, Judy, Zombie Queen, Natalie, and Emma. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, you guys, this is how I started. I took an index card. This one has no lines on it, and it's white. And I coffee dyed a few of them. And I took my corner rounder, and I rounded the corners. Now what I need to do is I need to ink two of them. So let's pull two of them out, and let's go ahead and let's ink these up. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I have inked both sides. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to take one of these and I'd like to fold it in half. So just like that, we're going to fold it in half. Now I'm going to take it and I'm going to attach it. Actually, I need to ink up my little fold right here and I need to ink up the fold on this side as well. So both sides. Now, I'm going to take it as it's folded in half. I'm going to apply glue to these three sides, not the side that has the fold. All right, so let's go ahead and get this done. And I'm going to attach it to the end, just like that. Okay, so now it looks like this. All right, so then what you'll want to do is you'll want to get yourself some postcards. Now, let's just say you don't have any postcards. You can get yourself one of your card stocks that has some kind of image, like maybe this butterfly, butterfly, that is not a butterfly, it's a bicycle, an image of something, this happens to be a bicycle, or maybe you even want this part up here, with the butterfly and the flowers and then the lines, you can actually just cut yourself out a little piece here, Let's go ahead and let's just do that so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about so that you can also have a postcard. Sorry, I'm digging for my scissors here. Here we go. And I'm going to trim this part right here. And you're probably now, I can hear you saying, well, what size are you cutting out, Kathy? Well, I don't know, but I'm going to tell you in just a second as soon as I get this cut out. Okay, so this size is, isn't that cute? Now there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, that you could cut yourself out a, kind of like a postcard. So this is not quite five, and it's three. So what you'll want to do is round your corners, and then, of course, you'll want to ink all the way around on both sides. Now, I would like to make a make mine out of this one right here. Now, these are my porch prints. No, these are little lady papery. These right here are. Aren't they sweet? I got them when I did the bee journal. And this one, uh, these are chapter one papers right here. Okay. Now I have a few that I have finished that I would like to show you at the end. So I'll bring those in at the end. So we've got our little uh, folded piece of uh, index card. I'm grabbing my little, this one's a little bent. I just coffee dyed them and I didn't iron them. So it'll, it'll, uh, you know, it will, yeah, we'll get unwrinkled in just a little while. All right, so I'm going to round the corners. I'm losing my words, guys. I think the bicycle butterfly just threw me. And I'm going to go ahead and I am going 
to ink around the edge on both the front and the back and then we'll continue. Okay, I have it inked up both sides. It smells so good because I've just coffee dyed these. So now this slips in our little slot right here. So this is our slot that our postcard or it doesn't have to be a postcard. It can be an image that you have cut out. Okay, it's just the same, whatever you have. So with this in place, you can decide, all right, so this is my image that's gonna show. What do I want on the other side? So I have a few little pieces of scraps. I have this that came from, I think it's the same one, the, uh, Little Lady Peppery, I think. Uh, I could get myself in trouble by saying that, and it's not. But it came from that bee journal that I made. I think I'd like to use this, although this is really pretty too. But I'm kind of thinking I want this. And I am just going to tear down here on the side, and I'm going to tear myself out a piece of this. I like these flowers because I think they go very nicely with the bee. And then I have some book page. And this even has some drawing. Somebody who had this underlined, it's in a different language. I don't know what it says. But I'm going to go ahead and get me some of that. I'm going to see that it fits on here. I'm going to get my vintage photo and that's the ink color that I've been using but any color that you want is good or if you don't ink that's good too whatever whatever you choose so I'm just going to quickly this is very delicate paper it will rip so very easily it's very old and so I'm just going to carefully put a little bit of ink on there and I think this would be very beautiful pretty here. But before I do that, I'm going to bring in my word stamp and I'm going to remove my postcard right here. And I'm just going to stamp some words on here. Just a little script. Just here and there. Just like that. I'm actually going to do it on the next page as well. faintly dark it just doesn't matter because I like that look that is just kind of um, comes and it goes and it's not exactly perfect that's that's what I really like about that okay so that's how we look now let's put our postcard back in our slot there we are that's looking good right there and now we're going to bring in our glue I was reaching for this one, but this one has more in it. I'm trying to use up all my little uh, glue containers that just have a little bit left. I'm trying to, before I open a brand new one, you know how that goes. It's always easier to open up a brand new one, but I need to use this up. So now I've just laid my little pieces down, just like this. And then let's bring in something else, maybe a label. That label looks pretty good right there. This one's kind of big. No, I don't like that color. These are too big going the wrong way. I really like that one. I don't know why. I just really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly ink it up here. I'm going to get my glue. And I'm going to just glue it down right like this. Just like that. Down at the edge, maybe. Okay. Now... We're going to turn this over right here, and we're going to put a little something here. I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to put a little stamp. This is a flower, and it looks very much like this flower right here, as well as this flower right here. It, it's very similar, so I think that will tie in nicely. And I'm just going to use my brown, and I'm going to place it right there and I'm actually going to do it again shorter like that 
I don't think I need anything else because you can journal right on the top of this. Isn't that sweet? I love that. So now, when you put it in your journal, you could put it in a belly band if you want, or a big pocket, or you could glue it down on three sides right here and then have another spot for another tuck spot. That would be really, really cute. So let me go ahead and show you the other ones that I have. I made this one right here. And I do believe this is my Porch Prince uh, postcard. And I really like that one as well. I like the colors with the mushroom and the bow. And then this one is chapter one. And this is the little postcard here. And it has some purples and blues, so that's what I chose to put here. And then a rose on this side. And then right here, this is also chapter one postcard. It's in the blues and purples as well. And I chose a little purple flower and some chapter one paper right there. And then a label inside instead of a stamp. Oh, you guys, I absolutely love these. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.